This is Vanessa Joy and I'm showing you the Laster Light Tri Light Reflector. This is similar to a Westcott highlighter if you're going to compare things. I've used the Westcott highlighter, it's great. I'm going to use this for my headshot session in just a minute. Got it all set up here right away. The one thing I like about it, it's compact, it's portable. It fits right in a little bag because uh, all this comes off and then this is just my light stand. And we're able to get really nice clean portraits, shoving light right back up at their eyes and filling in those mom circles. Uh, let's see how it does. So we just got done with our headshot session. Here are some of the things that I liked about it. Number one, I liked that all of these were individually adjustable. So if I didn't want to fill so much on, let's just say her cheekbones, I could kind of move this out a little bit and not have to fill in so much while still being able to fill in on underneath. So I really like that it was three separate things versus one reflector or one highlighter. And I did like being able to kind of tilt as I went to either lessen or brighten the shadow or the amount of reflection. I used the softbox, a Pro Photo 2x3 softbox, kind of lit it in almost a clamshell fashion. I didn't have my beauty dish set up, which probably would have been preferable with my C-stand, so I just ran with this. And it went well. She liked the photos right out of the camera. I do tether right into Capture One. It's just nice being able to show them almost a finished photo. Yeah, I'm gonna retouch it a little bit, but everything right out of camera is just gonna give my client a better experience. So. I did like this. The only limitation and thing that I noticed I did not like, uh, which would have happened if I had any static reflectors, anytime I wanted to move her hair around, I'd be like, oh, I can't reach you. So that part's kind of annoying, but it sort of comes with the territory. Uh, this is the silver side that I use today. It also is double-sided, so I have a gold and silver. Before we jump into this, make sure that you download my free posing inspiration guide. We could all use some inspiration. Get that in the link below with lots of ideas on how to pose groups and individuals. So overall, I like it. I'm gonna be using this and I really like that we get a nice picture right out of camera. I'm showing them, I'm tethering so they see right away what we're doing and I want them to have a good experience. And I don't wanna be like, oh, we'll fix those shadows in post because then they're just gonna think, you know, I don't know, they're ugly and they need Photoshop and that's not true. We just need to light them correctly. So ring the bell, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you next time.